pull the old boots on again. Grab that cup of tea. Let's start a new day. Heading out to check traps after night 11. 11 nights straight, we've got 12 dogs on the ground. They're not coming easy, but we will endeavor to persevere. My first trap set is behind this post. Out there on the second post, nothing. It might mean that the dog that was coming in here on this spot uh, that we're seeing the tracks of, uh, we've already caught it over here. Okay, we're coming up onto trap sets so I think seven and eight on this side. And uh, there's been no sign on the road at all. No fresh tracks over our tracks. Uh, so it doesn't look very promising here at the moment. But we shall see. I've got two sets here. One at the tree and one on the edge of the gully. There's a dead roo here. Nothing. No fresh tracks. I'm not even going to get out of the vehicle. I'm going to trust my sense that I've got there. The um, it's freshened up. The traps are still okay. Nothing at all. That's all good. This means that the dogs travelled through here a few days ago. They haven't been back. So where are they? Let's go looking, hey? Skunk, let's go looking, boy. What are you looking at, hey? What are you, hey? What are you doing, hey? Where's it, Dingo? Where's that dog? Where's that dog? Where's that dog? Where's that dog? You go find him. Where's that dog? Next trap set there. Cattle will be right around it. No dogs. side up here so we've got one on one side one on the other nothing skunk eh? nothing at all i set five traps along this line because there was a lot of sign here but uh they're close to town within about three kilometers of a township and uh there's a few different people that have been trying to catch these dogs. There's been traps set everywhere. So all they've done is educated these dogs. There's my vehicle tracks from yesterday. There's a dog print right there. Good, right up. we might have something up here. Nothing. All right, it's come straight along and has not even committed to go near that trap. This is our problem. Dog tracks across our tracks. I've sat here and this dog's come in and scratched and scratched until it's hooked out the corner of the trap. So what I'm gonna to have to do is put a, like a blind trap back off it. They've got a scat on top of the uh, dirt there. I've put another bit of our dog scent on the other side and it was already looking for the trap. Yeah, this is where you need to be a bit creative. Let's see what we can do. I'll shift that trap from there back here and I'll make it look obvious that that's where a trap is and hopefully that dog will come along, think the trap is there again, stand there uh, without any worry and get caught. So far it's been a uh, very slow morning. Uh, I've had a dog pass probably seven traps and uh, it just will not commit. Uh, hopefully this line might be a little bit better. This is about oh, a kilometre further up the road now. No tracks as yet. I caught a, do I caught a bitch in this trap here like five, four or five days ago and nothing else has been back around it. So she might have been the only one living in this area. Cattle. Cattle.
cattle have been through, but they haven't wrecked the trap, so I won't even get out. Good, I know the scent is good on that one, so we'll just keep on rolling. We just arrived here to the, um, the gateway sets. Uh, there's three traps set here, and uh, this is where we were having trouble with a, uh, a dog scratching traps out here and in the gully. Anyway, we reset, we put a couple of blind traps in, and uh, I picked up a little brindle uh, bitch there two days ago. Since then, nothing else has been scratched out, not a track on the road. So I'll probably leave these traps in for another couple of days, and then let's see what happens. A bit rude, eh, Robbie? Go past like that and didn't call in to say good day. Oh well. Skunk is starting the scent pretty hard here. And we've got tracks here on the road in front of us. Let's see the sign, the tracks. It's going to be interesting to see whether it's dodged this trap as well. So I've got two traps up here. Bobby, do you have to keep your hand on my shoulder, mate? Hey, it's a little bit sort of. Skunk. Little male dog. Good stuff. Front leg catch. With you, Jake. Well, that's the dog that we um, tracked there past the other two sets. They just missed those sets and tried to scratch one out. And he's come straight past the set up here and um, got caught in this one. So good result. It's number 13 now, 13 and 11 nights. Slow going, but we're getting there. There's like a few pigs up here at the top end of this dam. Get out of it. Off! Off! Off, Robbie! Off, 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 off! Off, off! A lot of people say to me, especially the cousins back in uh, New Zealand, they say, aren't you going to eat it, bro? So if you could see what these things crawl out of, uh, you know, like a three-week-old dead cow that's decomposing, and uh, they crawl out of it. There's still everything sort of wriggling on them. You expect to eat it? No, not going to happen. Not going to happen.